hello guys and welcome to this new episode of tech and check guys today's video is going to be very very interesting because in this video we are going to talk about how your inverter charges your battery at its full capacity and this video is going to be live testing here so guys you need to watch this video till the end then only you will come to know about the full charging process of this battery so guys before starting this session if you have not subscribed this channel yet please do subscribe and let's get started here guys generally we use good inverters or branded inverters in our home to charge our lead acid battery and uh, yes if you have not seen that battery video yet please to watch on this i button above and it's a very good battery so only i put it this year and uh, we are talking about the good inverters uh, then generally they follows one uh, process to charge your battery and that process called multi-state charging and this process helps your battery to charge with full capacity as well as to increase the battery life also so maximum branded inverters that uh, available in the market now um, they generally follows this process to charge your battery so in this multi-stage charging, the first three charging stages are very important. So the first charging stage is called bulk charging stage or boost charging stage. Also we can say this charging stage is constant current stage. In this stage your battery charges from 0% to 80% approximately and the rest 20% completes in the next two stages of the charging process. Here you can see the battery voltage now is 13.4 volt and the charge given to this battery for the charging is 10 ampere here but this 10 ampere generally varies between 0.2 to 3 volts but it maintains that level only throughout this bulk stage whereas your battery voltage gradually increases to a certain level now you can see the voltage is 13.5 voltage here so this voltage generally increases to a certain point so that point i set it here at 14.4 volt so in between 14.3 to 14.4 it will go to the next stage so guys you can see on the screen it is written as blk this is means bulk charging stage and also you can see the battery animation as it is charging only but the current given to this battery to charge this is same until it reaches 14.4 volt here you can see the voltage increases to 13.6 so let's check what is the current given to this battery now see it's 10 ampere only so it is maintaining that level so the same thing i will show you in a graph how this charging stage looks like so in this graph you can clearly see the charging stages are divided into three part first is bulk charging stage second is absorption st stage and third one is plot charging stage so the blue lines defines the battery voltage here and the red lines defines the charging current given to this battery so you can clearly see the blue lines here gradually increasing to a certain point whereas the red lines is maintaining the constant level throughout the bulk charging stage so guys as you know this charging process is a very long process so i will try to show you by doing fast forwarding to this video and uh, here you can see the charging voltage is now 13.7 here but the current will be the same throughout the stage as you can see the battery voltage increases to 13.8 voltage and uh, the current is now 10 ampere only so it is maintaining that battery voltage is now 13.9 volt and the current is in the same range now you can see the battery voltage is 14.0 and it is maintaining that current level the 10 ampere only so it is maintaining that level and uh, you can see the battery voltage is now 14.2 volt 
and the current is here 9.9 .9 and 10 so it is maintaining that level because it is still in bulk charging stage so uh, in between 14.3 to 14.4 volt it will go to the next stage and then we will see the current level that time guys if you find this video uh, as informative and uh, useful also please do like and subscribe to this channel so that I will make more videos like this and present to you guys. Uh, guys, you are seeing this MPPT PCU here, and uh, I have already uploaded many videos on this PCU and uh, how it is working. So, guys, please go and watch these videos in playlist. It will be informative for you. So, guys, the voltage increases here 14.3 volt, and the stage. See the stage change here now it is abs state that means absolute stage so in this stage what happens the voltage will be the same voltage will maintain and the current will decrease you can see clearly here the current is going down see and initially it was around 10 amperes now it is going down you can see here clearly so this stage the voltage will be remain same here you can see 14.2 volt and the current will be goes down so this stage also we can call as constant voltage stage initially the first stage was constant current and here it is constant voltage so now check the graph what it says you can see the blue line that is voltage line is maintaining the same level whereas the red line is going down okay so this current line means this red line will decrease throughout the absorption state and this ampere will decrease until it reaches 1 to 1.5 percent of your battery capacity so this means we can say if i am using a 200 age battery then 1 percent of the 200 age battery is 2 so we can assume this 8 ampere on screen now when it will reach around 2.02 2.2 2 ampere then in that stage this AB state will come down to float stage so you can see the ampere now is 7.0 and the battery voltage is maintaining the same level constant level that is 14.2 and it is coming down to 6.9 ampere here let's do a fast forward let's see the current again it is 4.7 ampere and the voltage is at same level 14.2 volt let's see the ampere is now 3.4 to 3.6 and the voltage is remaining the same now see this ampere is 3.1 3.2 and the voltage is maintaining 14.2 volt and it is still in ABS state so let's see how this stage is going to be changed after this so we can wait some time you can see this is 3.0 and uh, you can see the graph also after that so it is 3.0 see now it is 2.9 ampere and 2.7 and 2.2 see here it is now comes down to FLT that means plot voltage and suddenly the current goes down to zero and also our voltage level will come down to certain level and the value will be around 13.5 uh, to 13.8 which is a recommended voltage for the float so now you can say your battery is full charged and you can see and confirm by seeing this battery animation and you can see the battery animation is stopped and it is showing full charge to this float stage we can say this stage is constant voltage stage okay because in this stage 
uh, inverter gives your battery a constant voltage and a very minor current to maintain the battery at full charge so this voltage also called trickle voltage this voltage protects your battery from self discharge so let's check the graph here what it says you can see the voltage graph is comes down but it is maintaining a constant level whereas the current is minimal you can see the next test graph that is equalization state and here the voltage is maximum but the current is low you can say this test repairs your battery and maintains a good health because if your battery is not immediately recharged after a discharge then a sulfate kind of thing generally stored at the bottom of this battery which decreases the lifespan of the battery this is called stratification so in this stage by the help of high voltage this sulfates dilute into the liquid again so guys this is some information about the battery charging process if you have any doubt then you can ask me and if you like this video please do like and subscribe to this channel so we will meet in next video with a new information till then bye bye